Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is from the Ground Up RC. My name is Aaron. Uh, if you haven't been here before, subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified every time we got a new video. We got videos up every Wednesday. Today, we're gonna be in the garage working on the pits. Let's go. figure out how to mount the aileron servo i think the way i want to do it i'll make a plywood hatch that screws on on four corners and then have this screw into a u-shape piece of plywood that's uh, glued down with some triangle stock and just having a shorter one inch arm with a regular old push rod that's our control horn piece of 16 gauge sandwiched in between some plywood epoxy and then this little tab right up here in front that's how we're going to control our upper ailerons with a push rod going to the upper aileron. So I figure if I make it about four inches, that ought to be decent enough. Size plate, plenty of strength there. Um, if I, I feel like if I make it too thin on the ends, it might flex a little bit and then we'll just make it uh, about as wide as that is. So three and three eighths, get a little bit of gap for the covering. So we'll try that and uh, I'll go ahead and time lapse me marking this up, cutting it out. That's pretty much what we come up with. Like I said, it was just about three and three eighths by four, so. Only problem, those ribs have a slight curve to them. I'm not sure if I'll just have that plate section be flat or if I'll put a block right there to kind of give it a little bit of a curve or, or what I want to do that. But, but that plate looks like it'll fit. set in place i'll we'll have to make a slot basically right there but this servo is going to sit just like that but on the bottom side of this wood that arm will come up through and then i'll cut some uh some sticks off this quarter inch plywood back here that we'll glue on the other side for the servo to screw onto put some triangle stock on there for a little extra extra holding strength I'll probably actually cut a hole in this plywood to give it a little extra to bite to as well so um but yeah so that's pretty much what we're setting so we'll cut a slot right here i just thin ca these into spot but uh they feel pretty strong already and i'm gonna put some triangle stock coming off that bottom side right there um just to give it a little more strength so but we'll we'll go ahead and screw this servo in and then uh we'll go ahead and screw it down right there and i'll just make a makeshift linkage kind of give it a rough idea of how that's going to work with the aileron so okay so this is pretty much what i come up with i think this is what i'm going to do for a permanent thing on here so uh we got 440 rod uh threaded into a, a 440 clevis and then this end that's just smooth i got that horn pretty centered where i want it and so i uh go ahead and mark this right about there where my thumb's at um, and we'll cut that sand it up decent and then we'll put it in here hold that aileron where it needs to be and then uh, solder that in and uh, then we'll see how that works all right so that's pretty much ready to solder we're just waiting for the iron to heat up um, so i cut that with the dremel we sanded it real good made it nice and shiny clean it with the uh, Really anything, try and get any oils and stuff off that are from your fingers and then don't touch it. And then we put some flux on there. And then since I am soldering over the frame, I put this scrap piece of plywood here. We got her. So I'm not sure if those are the right direction. Um, 
That does get really close though, down here. You can see it. Doesn't touch yet, but it it's really, really close. However, that's about what we're gonna be at on throws, so I think that'll work. I might have to come up with something else to kind of fill that or just deal with it being flat, so. Anyhow, we'll repeat the other side. All right, one thing I do recommend doing is after you put screws, something like that in a piece of wood, is go ahead and put a drop of some thin CA and uh, it hardens up those screw threads that are put in that wood. So um, help them last a little longer or at least until I crash this airplane. Once you've done that, you've got this figured out to make the other side pretty much just Trace it on a piece of plywood and repeat it, cut it out. So to do these, I'll just measure off what I did and trace the square stock. There we have it. Wings all mixed in. We got the uh, running two separate channels, running the right aileron off uh, the flap channel. Here's what we come up with uh, for our servo tray. Got our rudder servo, it's gonna be centered because it's a pull-pull. I think that'll work for our elevator servo. What I did was I measured where I want this and then found the center and then come out. So we got the taper for it to fit in there. So we'll go ahead and cut it out and see how it fits in there. Looks like it'll fit. The only problem is where that uh, elevator servo is. It's got that cross brace right there, so. So either move it or elevate the rudder servo so it can operate underneath. I decided to switch this and have it go this way. I'll probably still have the output shaft on the other side. That'll keep the push rod closer to the formers, make it easier to uh, put supports in there. What I was going to do is have it like that. And that's why I needed the space. So if I put it like this, moves it over, gets it away from that brace, still have room for the pull-pull system. And so I think that'll work out great. I'll probably put a hole here on the other side just for just because but we'll cut it out and glue it in and show you when i'm done glued in now and these aren't the most sturdy little things but there's sheeting going here that'll stiffen that up a lot and then i'm going to put some triangle stock between the sheeting that piece right there to give it some more strength so it's not just holding on to this piece right here the sheeting will keep that from flexing and then the triangle stock will help give it a little more to bite to so it doesn't pop off super easy. And then I'm still not sure if I want to do something like this in there to give the screws for the servos a little more to bite to. If I want to do individual little pieces, a big long stretch like that, or if I want to cut out individual little plywood plates to go around that. So um, I'm kind of leaning towards just putting a stretch of this across there. It's basswood, not balsa. Um, I always use hardwood on servos unless it's a park flyer, but I'm kind of leaning towards this just for simplicity. And then drill the holes, drop some thin CA. And in theory, I'll probably crash this thing before anything else on it breaks, but. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that, hit that like, subscribe button. If you got any questions, leave a comment. If you want to see me do more trucks or boats, whatever, drop a comment there too. Um, next week, we're going to be working on the top wing. Uh, we're not going to do too much crazy stuff. All we're going to do is we're going to make these and sheet it. So anyhow, see you next week. Mm -hmm.